Okay, she works. Sangris. WSD to move. Left mouse button to le left attack. Right mouse button to right attack. Tab to for inventory. This is a game made by Son and Choyaz. And 2D horror pixel art roguelike. Top down, top down shooter upgrades. Shooter role playing. Don't know if he's based in Mania or somewhere else, but um, well, there's his other games. Oh, he made Circuit Breaker. And Circuit Breaker is definitely one of the um, Sunday Rails that, you know, failed, but he tried to make it. There's only like, you know, knows why I'm making a video for it. Well, let's see what I was saying where Space is. So, gameplay and art by Misha Smirnoff and Eric Chen. Assets from Flare Sinel. By the way, I did try and download this, it didn't work. Tried to play him from here, it didn't work. I have some issues because this game is going, but whatever. Alright, just a recap of all the stuff. So, objective, clear each way from each room to progress. Completing a room grants you a buy part, which you can either use or salvage. Okay. So, what am I? Mage arm. Fires a mage bolt every one second, which deals base damage. Okay. There's a human head. 4 max HP. Human legs. Allows you to move by walking. Human torso. 5 max HP. Okay, so I can just use that. And con the, you know, tiles here a little bit. Room clear. And we'll, yeah, I know it's new downloads. I keep downloading stuff for you center else. Um, so it basically salvage yourself a spirit arm. Creates a burst of spirit energy. I just want to check something. Alright, so there's no sound for this game, by the way, just to throw it out there, but whatever. Spirit Arm creates a burst of the spirit energy, which knocks back nearby enemies and does more damage regardless of the start. So I can basically recycle it, drag the limb here to insert it, convert it to an upgrade, or. There we go. I got two weapons. So it's basically a buying of Isaac type of game, this one. And it's basically like, you know, stuff comes out of the walls, uh, or stuff like that. Let's go this way, maybe. Oh, there we go, we got the sound. I still don't want to step on that stuff. There we go, they're all dead. Oh, took a hit. So that's my HP right there, the purple stuff. There's a the room clear, we got ourselves a slime head. Heals 3 HP every time you clear a room. That could be useful. Alright, so basically the idea here is like, you know, we're trying to, um...
essentially, like, you know, create our, like, you know, little avatar here. Uh, let's get this one. Now I got myself a slime head that doesn't really appear, but it's fine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything that uh, ability right there. Killed it. Chit and shell. Reduce all damage you take by one. Move speed cut by twenty percent. Part of uh part of a cut enemy. Where's this go? Oh, this is fair to say, I guess. Hound Eye, critical chance, attack speed goes down. More damage or sacred ash. Get one um, extra upgrade upon when burning. Uh, go see what the upgrades are all about. I will say this seems a little bit more in depth than like you know most like you know games of this type. Let's see walking sun. Yeah, it's bad to walk in the pools. So don't walk in pools. Interesting sort of concept. I can actually see this being made into an actual game, like, you know, that I might receive from, like, you know, my courier feed. Unfortunately. I mean, I, in, in a sense that, like, you know, this is about the quality I expect from a game I get from my, you know, Steam Courier feed. I can walk on a purple stuff that's gonna know. Alright, does our room clear? There's slime legs. Allows you to move by bouncing. Spawns as sludge every time um, every hour jump. Move speed is plus twenty percent, max HP goes up. So okay. So, fruit, attack 10% faster, heal HP. Let's get this. So, are these actually benefiting me? I'm not sure how they work. And now I'm bouncing. I can see a little bit of an issue with like the walls here. The walls aren't working too great basically for this type of like, you know, um, this game.
Unfortunately, apparently bounces don't bounce me over stuff, so... It says fire and starting in a general direction here. Well, I can appreciate this one a little bit, I think. I kind of wish the base attack was a little more powerful, but, you know, it works. Well, I guess we're about to die, so let's just die. So there we go, we're deaf. Let's restart. So we'll start again. That heals me, I think, so let's just leave it alone. We'll start by finding some slimes. This room's a little bit different than before. Yeah, you definitely need to have it for this type of game to have like smooth walls, I think, to really make it work, but where it's fine. Spirit Cloak allows you to float around and conserve momentum, damage plus two. Okay, so... Let's get this. Whoa! All right, well, there we go. We got this done. Um, creates burst of spirit. Um, spirit actually, which knocks back nearby enemies and does more damage. Doesn't seem to work, so I'm just gonna salvage this right away. Let's get a sacred ash. There's definitely some issue, I think, with like you know running around here. Unless like you can't go back where you came. All right, there's our spirit cloak. Let's get more damage. That might be helpful. Yep, now I instantly kill these guys. Oops.
I like the spare cloak, it lets me move fast, but boy do I have little control over where I go. There's a slime head. Let's give her a head, we'll get basically... Let's get the hound eye, why not? Yeah, it does feel like there's an issue with, like, moving around. Not sure if it's intentional or not, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Give us one more go. I'm not seeing much of a point to this game by just yet, by the way. So it's like, you know... Basically fight and survive, but you know, is there any like goal to the game or is this showing off the, the concept? There's a slime arm. Charge up a shot which deals two times base damage. I mean, that could be useful. Ah, so there's right and left arms. Okay, that's my shot. To hold down to fire it. I thought this would do a lot more damage, but you know, it does not seem to be how it works. There we go, room clear. We got ourselves a human torso. Let's get this. So we're gonna basically insta kill stuff. I'm not sure, but I think like when I basically come like, you know, a certain direction, you basically can't go back to the way you came. It's basically like these like rooms that dictate what space you're going to see next. There's room clear. There's a spear cloak if I want for more damage, I guess. More damage. Whoa! I move. I don't think I really, uh, really like think there might be lacking. Is the fact there's like only like you know, 
two room types for Yamasuri to spawn from. Basically, just like one, like the ones where you spawn from the middle, or the two slime rooms. You're a little bit more diverse than that. Also, walls. The walls are a big issue, too. Just gonna sacrifice this. Data heals me in this room, which is nice. Oh, go ahead. I'll sell this. Get our up extra upgrade. Now I guess from this one we're just gonna have ghosts regardless of where we go here, so go down. There's a shit and shell again. Yeah, I'm not sure how this one works because, like, you know, it doesn't seem like you move your torso. Let's get this. Get some first aid. Oh, right, I'll do more ghosts. We. There's no chit and cell. Go heal up again. And I guess the game froze. Alright, well, that was Sangris. This was basically from a guy who basically had a failed dig last time, but, you know, at least this one was complete, more or less. I like what's here, but I feel there's just not enough scope, basically, to this one. Like, there needs to be more rooms, there needs to be more enemy types, there needs to be just more. All I can really say. But that's basically it for this one. Hope you guys basically enjoy it, and take care.